So, I'm Phil Lama and this is CK3. I actually have a mod, I don't remember the name, I will leave it in the description. Basically, it lets me start as a theocracy, so I can actually become the Pope. But I'm not gonna be a regular Pope, obviously. I'm gonna create my own ruler, and I'm gonna create Palpatine, obviously, the best Pope. I mean, this is the closest thing I could do in a short time. It's close enough. I mean, look at him. Clearly, clearly it's Palpatine. I'm, I'm making me even thinner. Definitely Palpatine. Look at that. Oh, wait, I need to change the eyes, right? It's not the best work of art I've ever done, but it's close enough, right? It's close enough. So he is 65, which is a little concerning considering him because he would die really soon. So let me see if I can just make him last a little longer. Or I can make him younger. Yeah, let's make him 40 or 35. He's gonna be a young Sheev. Why not? Why not? I mean, look at him. He still looks the same. He will have children. I think it's important because otherwise... I mean, he's the Pope. I don't think he can marry. So, let's have two children. Two sons. Maybe one daughter as well. Why not? Yeah, basically I gave him a whole of body to give him a little bit of a health boost. So that he survives a little bit longer, I hope. I don't know if that changes anything, but at least he doesn't die of cancer or something, I think. So I gave him Torturer, obviously, I mean, it's Palpatine, uh, Seducer, I mean, I mean, look at this boy, Schemer, and, I mean, obviously, and three kids, I think that's fair enough. <laughs> okay, the, the kingdom, instead of being the Papacy, is called the Palpacy, obviously, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> oh god, this, I promise this video was not just so I could make this pun, okay? Okay, finalized ruler. I think it's good enough, right? I mean, it, it... Oh, God, it looks so stupid. So, yeah, let's start. I, I wonder what will happen. This is the first time I'm actually playing as the Palpacy. Your son. Print... Wait, I'm a king? Pope Sergius. Wait, my name changed. My name changed to Sergius. What the fuck? Oh, this sucked. I, I, my name changed. No. <laughs> I guess it's normal because I'm the Pope, right? Can I change my hair, my hat? I don't like this hat. Looks somewhat better, I think. This is definitely the the, the Emperor. Okay, so technically, oh, I can actually find a spouse. Can I make the Pope gay? I just realized I could have made the Pope gay. It would be amazing. <laughs> Sometimes my genius is—it's almost frightening. Oh, that will be so funny. I forgot about that. I didn't know. I have a thousand soldiers. I can actually start invading stuff, right? Because I am the Pope. I can just do shit, no? Can I start a crusade? That's the question. Because I want to crusade everything. Uh, being right next to the Holy Roman Empire is scary, to be honest. Look at this huge shit. 6,000 people. Not good. Create a new Christian faith. Oh, this would be awesome. Wait, why do I only have 200 piety? I'm the Pope. Okay, let, let's start by actually marrying someone, because I think I need... I, I definitely need alliances. Duke of Normandy... Those are too far away. Duke of Bohemia... Oh, I just realized they are children. No, we, we, cannot, we cannot go with the stereotype. No, 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 no. Okay, 18... Princess... Sigrid, Kingdom of Denmark, you'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna marry... Palpatine is gonna marry an 18-year-old. Uh, why is my son not called Anakin? You. Alliance power. Kingdom of Croatia, why not? 2,000 people. My daughter... Oh, my daughter looks... Looks so sad. Okay, I'm gonna marry her to an 11 year old because the Kingdom of Normandy is 7,000 people strong. Uh, it must happen. It will be matrilineal, of course. I mean, she is the daughter of the Pope. They will not, ma they will not mind. So, I think with this, I probably already have the strongest team ever. Everyone wants to help the, the Pope, to be honest. So, it should be fine. Now, for example, if I want to invade these guys, I have 14,000 strong versus 1,400. So it's gonna be easy as fuck. 
I pretty much can't make a crusade. <laughs> okay, can I actually win this without help? I have 2300 strong. Two seconds later. Okay, so I, I just got fucked, so maybe I will get help. <laughs> they have 3000, bro. Okay, so I called them to war. I think it may actually be too late because I lost because I lost the battle and it's already minus 72%. That's not great. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I think I'm gonna lose this immediately. I'm getting destroyed. Oh, these guys are gonna help. So maybe, maybe I have a chance. Yeah, I do have a chance. I'm being saved. Yes. Yeah, this is being easy as hell as soon as I got my help. They, they, like, they have no chance. My old, they, they have no chance. Like, 14,000 people versus 3,000. Okay, this is probably the first the first county that um, the Pope has ever conquered militarily. I actually don't know, to be honest. <laughs> probably. The Catholic Church. I'm not very wise on the Catholic Church history, but uh, I think probably the very first county that the Pope actually conquered militarily. Probably. So, not too bad. Not too bad. We are actually at war with England as well. Because our friends Norway are fighting them. But should I send them? I mean, I should. I should send them there. Why not? Let's just... F well, England is huge. I'll just conquer some bits of Cornwall and stuff like that. I would like to to create Italy with the Pope. That would be awesome, to be honest. Oh, since I'm the Pope, random people ask... Random people ask uh, for indulgences, which means that basically they will just ask Pope, can I please be a good boy and give you 100 gold in return? And the Pope says, yes, because of those 100 gold, you are a very good boy. So I will become rich really fast if that happens a lot. Can you imagine? It's basically a hack. <laughs> yeah, see, sick indulgences, 100 gold. I'm gonna be fucking rich. I'm 700 gold already. I have minus 0 0.9. And still, I'm making profit. This is crazy. <laughs> so basically, being the Pope just rules. It's, it's just the, the best thing you can do in this game, even though you shouldn't, because it doesn't work. Or it shouldn't work. I'm using a mod. This is crazy. Like, this is probably way too easy. <laughs> Look, another one. Sick indulgences. 100 gold. I already have 800. This is... This is mental. Another one. Oh no, make declaration of repentance. What is this? What does this mean? Oh, I got 300... Wow, this is crazy. Sure. Look, I got loads of prestige. Sick indulgences. Oh god, this is gonna be the easiest... Game of Crusader Kings I've ever played. This is amazing. This is just amazing. I was thinking that the Elf Dynasty one was easy because of the constant flow of army. This is just this is just crazy. Look at the how easy it was for me to reach a thousand gold almost. Seeking indulgences. I have officially a thousand gold. And I just realized I'm actually helping England. Apparently, I'm allied with England and Norway, so I had to choose between one of them. Okay, so I'm basically allied with the strongest people in the world at the moment. Except with the Holy Roman Empire. But who cares about them? I mean, technically, I could invade them with the 14,000 people I have. I could technically declare war on the Holy Roman Empire. That would be just amazing, can you imagine? Fuck it, let's try. If it if I die, I die. It's fine. Okay, uh, oh shit, they immediately came with everything. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no! 7,000. Okay, I need to to chill out a bit and run away. 8,000 soldiers. You're just going for my throat. I'm the Pope. Chill out, bro. And they're so fast. Okay, I think, I think they gave up. I need to wait for the rest of my allies, because otherwise I'm screwed. There's no chance. 
Okay, these guys are gonna help me out. Hopefully. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, I also have my 300 people here. Oh, this is gonna be the battle for the ages, I think. Oh no, I think I'm gonna lose the battle. Yeah, I lost the battle. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> Where's the rest of my allies, though? Where's the English? They still 8,000. I can't believe this. I can't do anything. Where's my allies? Okay, there's 2,700 coming here, I think. But where's the rest? Okay, maybe this is possible. Uh, how many do I have here? Not very good at math. They're running away, so maybe it is possible. Ooh, 9,000 versus 7,000. This is gonna be good. There's 800 coming in, but I don't think they, they can do it. Oh, my son died. I just defeated the bulk of the army of the Holy Roman Empire. I can't believe this. 8,000 versus 5,800. It's gonna be a good one again. No chance. 500 people already. Yeah. I think, I think we're gonna win this war. Thanks to England. And thanks to everyone who just gives me money. That's always good. Oh, so the... The king of the Holy Roman Empire, or I guess the emperor, <laughs> just died. So I'm just fighting this person. So it's going to be way easier now. I mean, it was already being easy, to be fair. And everyone just keeps giving me money. So honestly, this is the the easiest, easiest way of playing Crusade of Kings. Just be the Pope. And I bet this is how it was in real life. The Pope was just... Crazy in power, man. He just... He could do anything he wanted, probably. Look at this. 100 gold extra. Another one. 100 gold. I, I can just keep buying mercenaries and I will just... I will just be fine. I already have a 1,000 gold and I have been at war the whole time. Okay. Enforce demands. So be it. Amazing. I just conquered this whole bit. I could pretty much conquer Italy if I wanted to. I mean, I can. I mean, look at this. I can just pretty much conquer everything. They have no chance. I can just go in. They're all divided, so I just need to conquer. Look, I'm gonna just conquer this one and it's 100% for sure. Boom. 100%. Enforce demands. Another one. Disband. And these guys over here as well, bro. Oh, this is the Holy Roman Empire. Never mind. And look at how big the papacy is now. I can probably take Napoli as well. They have a thousand, it's fine. Raise army. I have Napoli, this is so easy. What the fuck? This is so, so easy. So yeah, if you want to continue seeing the Pope conquer the rest of Italy and maybe the world, let me know in the comments. I really enjoyed how easy this was. This is, this is definitely the easiest playthrough I've ever had of the kings i mean the pope is just op especially if he's the emperor unfortunately i couldn't change the name again but that's fine but yeah thank you very much and i'll see you soon do it do it